Hello, my name is Lauren Ochoa, and I'm here to tell you guys about my major, aerospace engineering. Now you may be asking yourself, while the word aerospace engineering sounds really cool, what is it? Well, aerospace engineering can be thought of as the design, construction, and maintenance of aircrafts and spacecraft. Aerospace is basically a subset of mechanical engineering. It takes the foundations of mechanical and adds aerospace principles to get that machinery off the ground. To get more in depth for what this all means for an aerospace engineering major here at Cal Poly, I prepared a little slideshow. Here at Cal Poly, aerospace engineering is broken up into two concentrations, aeronautics, which we call the air side, and astronautics, the space side. On the air side, you primarily deal with things within our atmosphere, like planes and drones. While on the space side, you focus more on things outside our atmosphere, like satellites and rockets. No matter your concentration, you get to take a lot of cool classes. On top of general eds and the Calc and physics series, you actually take a couple of foundation courses for a bunch of different engineer majors, including biomedical, civil, electrical, mechanical, materials, and manufacturing. This is because all these majors play a role in making a great aerospace engineer. Cal Poly is known for their hands-on approach. And they don't skimp out when it comes to labs. During your first quarter here, you get to take an intro aero class where you actually get to build your own rocket and glider and really get a feel for what both concentrations entail. You don't have to choose your concentration until your third year. If you choose air, you spend the next two years taking courses in aerodynamics, aircraft control, aircraft propulsion, and aircraft design. If you choose space, you spend the next two years taking classes in orbital mechanics, spacecraft propulsion, spacecraft design, and spacecraft environments. I've included pictures of the flow charts for aeronautics and astronautics. This one is astronautics. Of course, you can deviate from the schedule quite a bit, especially the first two years, and especially if you come in with credits. Here's aeronautics. They're both basically the same, other than the concentration or pink courses. Now, if that's not enough for you, we also have a bunch of cool aerocentric clubs. Polysat makes their own little satellites and partnered with NASA and other companies actually get to launch them into orbit. Design Build Fly designs and builds RC airplanes and flies them in AIAA competitions. Aquafleek is a club designed to help students get their glider license and work on glider-based projects. Sigma Gamma Tau is an aerospace engineering honors society and AIAA is a professional club that helps students connect with industry. There's a lot you can do with an aerospace degree, especially since it's an ever-growing industry. Uh, just to name some career options, you can help build and design planes, rockets, drones, missiles, satellites, gliders. You could be a test pilot. You can work with simulations, really anything that has to do with aerodynamics, so cars, companies like NASCAR and Tesla. If you're on the space side, you could work as mission control, or if you want to be on the ground, you can be a manufacturing engineer, which actually builds the rocket and satellites, or you could be a systems engineer, which is more like the managerial position, making sure all the pieces come together. Now that's all I have for my slideshow. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down for me. And all I have left to say is do aerospace engineering and get ready to launch your career.